Good morning, fifth grade. I hope that you're doing well. Think about it. You're almost through your week of school, so hang in there. The end, the weekend is in sight. Now, we've been talking a little bit about perimeter, and I hope you are keeping in mind your perimeter formulas. Remember, for our rectangle, it's P equals 2 times L, length, plus 2 times W, width. And then for perimeter of a square, it's P equals 4 times S. Now, today's lesson is about converting measures to find perimeter. These are two concepts we already know. We're going to kind of unite them today. So you know how to convert measures and you know how to find perimeter. So we're going to bring them together. You may have heard someone say before, I'm five feet, six inches tall. You can say that or you can say I am five and a half feet tall. So that's what we're doing today. Let's take a look at our problem. Seven feet, three inches by eight feet. Now the directions say on page 255, lesson 141, to convert to the greater unit. So in this problem, obviously a foot is greater than an inch. So we're gonna be converting to feet. You may have also noticed something a little different about this problem than a previous problem because it has the word by in it. And the word by is something that construction workers uh, would use. And your dad might say, I'm gonna fix the porch, I need a two by four. He might say something like that. And all that simply means is that your width is first and your length is listed second. That's all that means. So a two by four would be two in width by four in length. And that's all I'm gonna say about that because I know nothing else about construction. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be converting. Now we've got here uh, our perimeter formula, two times L plus two times W. So when you convert, there's a couple of ways you can do it. Of course, you could say seven feet plus three inches equals how many feet? Do you remember how we set these up? And we would say blank feet, and we would say, okay, we're going from an inch to a foot, so that's smaller to larger divide. And when we have a unit that's smaller than the whole foot, we know it has to be in fraction form. So three inches would be a part of a foot, three twelfths, and that's one fourth, and that's probably miniature to, that might be a little too hard for you to see. But some of you probably can do this mentally. If you can, I applaud you and I encourage you. That's what you want to do. When you've reached this level, which you're three quarters of the way through fifth grade, you want to try to do some mental math if possible. So seven feet, three inches, we would change that to simply seven and one fourth feet. It's the same thing, it's just written in a different way. So I've done a little of the work for you here to save some time with our videos. Here we have, of course, our formula, two times L plus two times W. And notice I've already plugged in, now this is the width, so that's a little flipped from our formula, that's okay. Two times seven and a fourth, that's our conversion. And then two times eight, which is our length. And of course, that's just straight multiplication. On this side, we would change two to an improper fraction, change our mixed number to 29 fourths. You know, you can cancel these out to one and two, and that would give us 29 halves, which then changes to 14 and one half. And then don't forget to add the 16. So 14 plus 16 would be 30. We bring the fraction along for the fun. 30 and one half, and make sure you put with that feet. So the answer for problem A should be 30 and one half feet. If you've already worked this out, maybe you got that. Now, if this seems a bit confusing, this is the nice thing about video. You can pause it, go back and watch it again and see if you can understand the concept again. Here's another problem. This is letter B. Again, we're converting to the greater unit. So we've got yards and feet. A yard is greater, obviously, than a foot. So we would be converting to um, yards, can we do it mentally? Let's try it. How many feet are in a yard? There are three feet in a yard, so we're using one of those three feet. So I'm going to cross this out and put two and one-third yards. Remember, by simply means width is first, the length is second. So now using our formula, let's slide them over here, two times L plus two times W. We have our length, two times three. We have our width, two times two and a third. This is our answer, two and a third. We're gonna change it to the improper fractions of two over one and seven thirds. That will give us 14 thirds when we multiply and we switch that to an improper, or excuse me, a mixed number of four and two thirds. And then we just simply add our six. The perimeter would be 10 
and two thirds yards. That's for letter B. Now in section two, you're doing the same thing, but it says to convert to the lesser unit. So it has a length of five yards, two feet, width four yards. Your lesser unit would be feet. And these are kind of nice because they're whole numbers. You don't have to work with the fractions and the mixed numbers. For example, in letter A, if you converted five yards, two feet to all feet, it would be 12 feet by 17 feet. And so that'll give you a whole number answer. Try those and see how you do. I can come back later if needed and go over this again because I know it's a new concept. It won't be tested on Friday's test. Speaking of that test, let me just really quickly encourage you. Uh, you will start out with some comparing problems here on your test. And it'll say 99 is how many times as much as 11? Just remember, you're thinking, okay, what times 11 is 99? And then for the next one, 500 miles is how many times as far as 50 miles? You can either divide 50 into 500 or you're saying what times 50 is 500? So that's how you would do that first section. In section number two, remember to invert the divisor. So it would be 3 16 times 10 over 9. This section you're going to slay because you know those measurements so well. On the back page of your test, it's just simply following the signs. Watch out for your decimals. You've got two problems to convert. They're both in Celsius, so you're going to use your formula for F. F equals 9 fifths times C plus 32. And then a multiplication box. And remember, you can look back if you need to, but do what you can uh, without looking back if possible. Have a great day. I'll see you soon.